Folks, I cannot believe how badly Don Staley was outcoached in that Final Four game. Like, I, I, I legitimately can't believe what I saw, right? The entire game from beginning to end. You know, um, oftentimes, if you listen closely to a coach's peers, they'll let you know what they think about a given coach. And yesterday, Kim Mulkey, LSU's head women's basketball coach, was asked, okay, well, you know, South Carolina destroyed you guys, 88 to 64. That happened six weeks ago. Destroyed South Carolina, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, South Carolina destroyed LSU, 88 to 64. A team they destroyed two days before Valentine's Day is now the national champion, is now the undisputed and unquestioned best team in all of women's college basketball. That LSU Tigers basketball team that fell to South Carolina 88 to 64. So Kim Mulkey said, well, wait a minute, how are you going to beat Iowa? And she said before the game, South Carolina didn't take the shots Iowa gave them. We will. Did they ever? Hmm. 59 points in the first half, Diesel. LSU had a player last night that had 21 points in the first half, did not score a single point in the previous three games that LSU played. If a player that doesn't score a single point scores 21 in the first half, that's game, set, match. Yeah, they, like, found, yeah, they found something that – how did South Carolina not see it? How did South Carolina not exploit that? Uh, this LSU shot 33% from three for the season. They shot 60% for the game against Iowa. And the Gamecocks have got to be kicking themselves, especially considering the fact that LSU can't beat that South Carolina team. So it's like, well, Kim Mulkey's like, we're going to take the shots that South Carolina didn't. But Kim Mulkey, you have players that can shoot the outside shots. How did Iowa figure that out? And you not. Don Staley got abused from a coaching standpoint. Folks, every single time on Friday night that Caitlin Clark beat the first defender, she had a clear path to a layup. Where was the help? There was never any help. If you've got Caitlin Clark and you're taking away what she does best, like if you're playing Steph Curry, Diesel, how are you How are you defending Steph Curry? You're up in his mug, right? Yeah. You're up in his mug because if you if give you, him space, he's going to hit those long-range threes from literally anywhere. And, and I saw it at least three or four times. Caitlin Clark with the right hand would drive uh, on the outside of the edge of the, of the lane, and South Carolina's defense was not shifting – to push her out. Like they just let her drive right around in an arc straight to the basket over and over and over again. Every single time. And so, you know, number one, you know, you're obviously going to be using bump coverage, right? To use a football term on Caitlin Clark, you're giving her no space. Her only recourse is going to be to drive by you. And when she gets by you, then what is your plan? Straight to the basket every time? Where is the rotation? Where is the help? After that happened twice, I'd be calling a timeout. And yet I saw that the whole game. You know, if when you guys listen to this show frequently, you'll often hear me say, um, Car- Charles Barkley, I think, is the best analyst in all of sports. He's the best analyst in sports history. What's one of Charles Barkley's tenets if you watch him frequently? He always says, I, I'm sorry, I can't believe they're they're playing him this way. I can't believe they're playing Donovan Mitchell this way. If I'm playing him, he I'm not going to let him beat me. He's going to be trapped. He's going to have two people on him every single time he touches the ball. And Charles Barkley is saying that at a game played at the NBA level where you can pass out of a double team to open teammates. And Charles Barkley says, I don't care. That person, that player is not going to beat me. He, he, I remember that distinctly when they played in the bubble and it was a playoff series between Jamal Murray and Denver and uh, Donovan Mitchell in Utah. And Jamal Murray and Donovan Mitchell were going for 40 points in every single game. And he's like, I don't get this. Like, I don't get this. Iowa scored 77 points. Okay, Iowa scored 77 points 
against the South Carolina Gamecocks. And Caitlin Clark was responsible for 41 of them. How do you let that happen? You know what I mean? Like, no one on the other team is doing squats. Zanano put up 18 points. But, you know, essentially, if you take Caitlin Clark off that Iowa Hawkeyes team, South Carolina beats Iowa just like they beat everybody else. It's 73 to 40. 73 to 50, they destroy if you take her off the team. So you know what I'm doing? I'm taking her off the team. You know, like, we're going to be trapping you and doubling you every single time. I could not believe, could not believe what I was seeing.